SOLIDWORKS 2019 introduces some great new tools for working with mesh geometry and some handy tools to speed productivity in assemblies. A common workflow for reverse engineering is to import mesh data and generate a solid model for production over the top of it. In SOLIDWORKS 2019, a new slicing tool is available to generate 2D sections at the intersection of the selected geometry and a series of planes. Just define the number of slicing planes and the offset, and SOLIDWORKS creates the planes and intersection sketches and conveniently places them in a folder. These sketches can be dynamically edited at any time for exact positioning and can be used like any other sketch to create geometry or referenced to define the lofts and surfaces required to build a solid model such as this handle. Some designs, such as this grip, require textures or bumps which can be functional or just for aesthetic purposes. Textures can be time-consuming to model and require many features such as these ribs. SOLIDWORKS 2019 introduces a new 3D texture tool, which leverages an image to define a pattern of bumps. Here, several variations have been created using this new tool, including the MAKO logo. These 3D textures are created by applying an appearance to a part or face, then size and orient it as required. The new 3D texture command can be used to turn that appearance into 3D geometry, the lighter the color and appearance, the farther the offset from the base face, and there are controls for mesh size and offset. SOLIDWORKS then creates a mesh body that is ready for downstream processing or 3D printing. Multi-body part modeling is a standard method to create designs like this weldment, and now the interference detection tool is available in part mode. This can bring great insight into a multi-body part and is especially useful for weldments to verify that all members have been properly trimmed. Here we have a moderately sized assembly, but it still has over 100 top-level mates. With SOLIDWORKS 2019, a new Group Mates option is available, which makes managing mates much easier and more intuitive. Mates are grouped by status. There are 98 solved mates, four overdefined mates, and three mates with errors, which can be deleted. Mates that are suppressed due to missing components are grouped, as well as inactive mates resulting from components being fixed at a later date. These can also be removed. Grouping mates by status makes it really easy to find and clean up the mates in your assembly. This folder contains toolbox components, and we can see by the dash preceding each component that most are underdefined. Their rotation hasn't been locked, now in SOLIDWORKS 2019, you can lock all concentric rotations in one go. Not only that, there is now a system option that locks the rotation of all newly inserted toolbox components. These are just a few of the new enhancements for SOLIDWORKS 2019. The new tools for working with mesh geometry and assembly productivity tools are sure to increase your efficiency and speed the time to complete your projects.